G'day, welcome to my string challenge of Flycorps. We continually work our way around the world. Um, what I have done again is I've taken a nice break uh, from uh, from filming them and just let the, the video run or the, the game run for a while. Um, so once we get back in here, you can see that I have bumped my uh, income. 7 million. And we have a lot of Northern Africa <laughs> to address here. Um, now, having a look at it, because I, I did notice that as it sort of occupied the, the newest countries that I had opened, it did slowly then work its way back. So you can see that Zambia, Angola, Namibia, Botswana did get a lot of theirs as well, and even uh, countries all the way back here. Um, still Tanzania didn't get anything else, it is still its lone city. Um, but I thought the first thing to check would be, we start from the very end, just make sure that... Um, that we're all good. Interestingly, both of these, there was the only thing I did in during that was this was only 200, and so I've upped that. It's possibly those two were always 200, and I just never noticed because at the very end of the line. Um, or have I done something again where I've... I did accept everything that came through. Maybe when I lost Chile earlier, that I just missed those ones somehow. But, so we can see there's no disconnected cities through there. Um... So possibly Hawaii and, and Alaska are never coming if I can survive through something like this and not get them. Um, still nothing through there. If I have overlooked one, definitely let me know. I'm pretty sure that I've... We're right. We've got a few cities that are red in, uh, in Europe, but again, no new cities. And so what we'll do is we'll start from where we join Africa and we'll rebuild sort of in according to, to what's connected. Uh, but what I will do before I start is I'll open Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia is by far the biggest country nearby and I'm definitely not going to get to um, probably addressing anything over there. There's no point in opening little ones where I can't get more than one city. So let's just start with Saudi Arabia and see if we can get a few different cities there. So firstly, what I think is that Libya, for the most part, could possibly come into connect to Tunisia here. Um, we could run probably to this city, back down and around. It does would mean that we'd be left with this very long route here. Um, but I'd say with... What we could do is connect these four guys, say, into this section. So they're already in sort of a spaced out section. Firstly, let's get rid of that connection. We'll go okay, one, two, and we'll probably want to upgrade these cities as we go because otherwise I'm definitely going to forget. So just remembering we started on about a clean 7 million when we started here. Let's see how much of that we, we have lost by the time we we get back. Our triple E's are, must be already holding, yeah, 10,000 because it, um, it was already upgraded before this started. So I think we'll work our way along the coast of Libya. Um, but we also have to factor in anything that's going to be easier for Egypt to just sort of scoop through, which I think is possibly just this guy that we can have Egypt sort of, I guess, work its way up, going around, and then we'll go into Israel next. So let's just jump up to Benghazi. Yeah, Benghazi was already there, so that's a huge spend of money on a city that probably won't need it. Then bounce back. Um, all right, so let's make sure we've got all these guys. Up to 64,000 as well. Oh. Another one that's going to benefit from being upgraded earlier. I'm a little reluctant to um, upgrade the, the planes just yet. The thing I was actually curious to see here was if I let the game go for an extended period of time, would when I opened Saudi Arabia, would it just get flooded? Would it sort of almost be like that it's trying to give me a quota of a certain amount of 
uh, cities per, per sort of like, like one city every two minutes or something. And so if I didn't have any availability of any cities to show up, would it just flood me with them as they came? Because one thing I noticed as well while I was doing my sort of just hours of letting it run, twice, so I would say that I probably let it go for about um, three hours or so in total. But a lot of times it was that I would, um, it, I did it over say like four or five just sessions of just having my computer on and, and just sort of pressing the, the notifications. But I did notice that after a while in two of those say four attempts, the notifications actually stopped coming. Like I stopped getting weekly events, which I would say is probably a glitch. But what it did mean is that I could, um, I could have in theory just let the game run overnight at that point because it wasn't gonna harass me to say there's any sort of um, conditions. Like that, are, that are, I need to meet. I've done the wrong thing there. Didn't have an eye because I was going to connect these guys to. Tricky thing here is that, that one's quite long. So that's four thousand eight hundred. But remembering the difference in directions can change that. So that's five four thousand to him, four thousand eight hundred to him. So I think that what we want to do is clear this. We'll run this guy from here to there. Uh, we'll clear that. Which is why I left that guy vacant so that he could be that. No, he could be that connector. For a long time, Triple is going to have a problem there. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll run this guy down here. It will then mean we can get rid of this connection. And they can just do that. Okay, so that's almost all of Libya. Two Libyan cities left. So I would probably recommend that if you need to go from Tobruk to Salim, probably drive. It'd be a little bit easier. All right, so if we continue on our route, Hopefully I had all of those upgraded. Um, because we've closed off this section, um, I probably could upgrade the planes now. Especially because there's all of the planes of Africa are going to have to head through this. This is now a, sort of at the start of the, the continent, so you probably don't want to have too much stuff just um, getting jammed up here and basically need to fix Tripoli straight away. Benghazi doesn't look as bad. I suppose Benghazi did just get that upgrade. Okay, and then from down here, these guys will probably end up needing multiple planes, but for now we'll just wait to, for the complaints to come in before we do anything about it. Okay. Make sure that guy's, I think, I assume that he's just sort of a bit um, fuller because he's been where the people are colliding at where they hit the sort of like the small planes. All right, so we're good down Morocco. Uh, Rabat's struggling a fair bit. Um, what way heads north from Rabat? It's southern one. So let's give him a 300 seater and let's give this guy a 300 seater. Um, already three planes on that. And this guy's not struggling at all. So maybe we don't need to worry that this is going to overflow onto him. We can see there's plenty of green planes heading back and forth on this route. So it's... I assume actually that might mean that there's only... There's a green plane sitting on top of a second one. So maybe let's add a third plane on here anyway. Uh, we'll just make it a 500 seater for now and then it can offset itself. You're interesting in that you're just broken at the moment are we not moving planes anymore because we've added so many yeah okay so 
broken the game for now, uh, but we'll do a, a load once we've gotten all of these new cities connected. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of that route there and we'll go from Bamako to Sokolo. One thing that I did get in that um, that brief period too is I think I ended up getting two more Concords between capital cities. I don't recall where they were. I think one of them might have been in Africa. So if you do see a Concord, that was something we gained as well. Okay, so is ah, easy addition for our uh, southern Mali, Mali, sorry, not Mali, Mali cities. Um, so then we've got these bad boys. So who are you closest to? Six thousand, seven thousand, five thousand, three thousand. All right, so this is an easy one. We'll connect those two like that. Um. We'll get him to connect there. That Chad one's really out in the middle of nowhere too. Get rid of that route and we'll head up. To save there being two long routes, we'll just grab the two uh, long Niagara routes as well and then bring them back into, into Mali here. Get these guys Rated. Right, and they're going to be hit with at least this route here's got two planes on it, so not surprise me if these guys are going to start requesting some. Um, more planes on their routes, but because they're all 10,000 um, seat airports, it'll probably be a long while till they hit those max capacities anyway. Alright. So we can see here, this guy sort of comes up and then taps back. This guy's closest point, oh, we want Dosso. Dosso's closest point is here. 18, 18, so I think that what we want to do is pull this route out here and we'll get these two guys to connect to this side. Definitely start. Oh, already a big... Must have had you sitting there for a while then. With those three guys, those two cities taken out there, then we'll get of this point I think let's get rid of that route and that route bounce that guy to there and then we'll um just add him to to this little circuit so we'll get rid of route between candy and diapaga Pega. Not sure how if they pronounce hard A's. Okay, so then we head back around the route, we then turn up here. What are we going to do with all of you? I feel like we need to, um... Um... We need to sort of maybe add this guy Let's sell that and this. Bounce him straight up to that guy, then come back down to him, down to him, and across. Oh, 
top of this, and we'll grab all of these ones that are sort of Chad's got that are on the um on the border too. Um, so this guy we want to just incorporate into this side, so we'll sell that. And, uh, slot him in there. So we can do a similar thing with these two guys. So we'll bounce him down to there, and then out. Like these guys might connect this lower section. Maybe we'll claim him. Let's claim both of those guys. Grab him. Him. I'm in here. That means we get rid of that. Get rid of. that yes and then we got to make sure that we get rid of all the small planes out of this section I'm going for... I keep forgetting whether it is that I want to upgrade them to a point where I see 64,000 or I want to put them on 64,000. I think a lot of the ones I've just been pushing away from 32,000. 6,000, I think I was saying, is, is pretty fine. Um, but the idea of having a 10,000 one for... isn't it's too bad either, so... I guess the answer is it doesn't much matter, as long as it's not 32,000 where I'm pretty right. the size of the airport, all right. Oop, it's the ones where I just forget that where I'm bouncing between a plane and a plane upgrades and um, airport upgrades and I go, all right, I've got to upgrade max. Oh wait, this is an airport. It is funny to think that the name of this session will likely be Saudi Arabia. With, uh, little to no attention paid to Saudi Arabia at all. He's good, so now we just go to this guy. And this guy. Let's check to see what his sort of look is. He's good, alright. So. We then follow the route down. We'll connect this guy between these two. Um, and then this guy will connect. So we'll get rid of both of them. Ones. How about that? This tiny section, um, Equatorial Guinea, didn't manage to get a second city. So just a quick update. No, third city, sorry, because this is also Equatorial Guinea. Just a quick update. Equatorial Guinea, three cities. Tanzania, one. Is quite a way to get from the capital of um, Equatorial Guinea down to the rest of the, the... the country. I would again, I'd probably recommend boat in that case. Uh, 
All right. What else have we got? So we've jumped the gun a little bit there because this was south of our actual path. So we're up this way now. So we'll get rid of that one. Connect these two and then connect him and him. All right, so then we get down to here. I think that all of these cities can connect into this section here. It does unfortunately mean that, that city's got to come along for the ride too. So we'll break that connection there. And we'll go up. Up and up and up and really far up. All right, this is my first pause on this one. I realize we haven't learned about Saudi Arabia yet, but I feel like we've got a chance to do that next time. I want to learn about they are like Ligua, Ligo. It is the largest city in northern Chad. It has a population, so this is the region, not the, the city itself. The region has a population of 48,000 people. Boy, howdy, they are. Let's see the climate. Uh, temperature is consistently over 39 degrees Celsius or 102 degrees Fahrenheit. From April to September, reaching a maximum of 42 degrees. Which, I mean, if it's constantly over 39, that's not that much of a sway. Uh, the coolest months, uh, December to January, were an average maximum of 26 degrees, which seems quite lovely. So if you're ever heading to Bayer like Laguero, I guess have a make a Christmas trip of it. Um, annual precipitation. So our rainfall is. 11 millimeters or about half an inch or a year. Although some years have no rain at all. The sunshine duration is one of the highest found in the world with some 3,800 hours of bright sunshine annually. And every month receives an average sunshine duration of 290 hours. What I really like about that statistic is that what is someone going, it is so hot. No, 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 it's even hotter. Like, you don't understand how often the sun's out. Oh, no, I've got to look this up. And they've done the science to go, yeah. Told you, I told you it's hot. Now we're just coming down here now. Into there. Beautiful. So, they do say you can learn something new every day. So, for those that weren't sure, I can confirm this part of the world right here is hot. good swell that we've cleared out a lot of the like awkward uh, spots in the middle of the world. I might have one more though. Where are you going to end up? Maybe in there. Maybe Egypt's problem.
Yeah, no, like I said, one thing I would love in this game is, is a statistic in the bottom corner that told you the most, um, the busiest cities uh, at any time. Um, we are, um, like, so I'd love to see, like, is, is it Sao Paulo the place where m the most people are attempting to get to? Um, or, like, is Los Angeles significantly the highest one? Where am I going to slot you in? It's tricky because it would mean that this guy would have to bounce all the way out there. I suppose the, the length of the, um lights that have just sort of come from behind it probably doesn't matter too much we'll probably grab that guy too while we're out here and swing him back in there Sure, we're going to get to all the cities in this one today. I think Saudi Arabia is going to sit unattended for for at least another another session. So we're not even. Well, I suppose we've done a fair bit of the uh, the empty spots up here. I think we have really pushed that to the west coast, but we've got a whole lot of stuff to to address. Look like at Madagascar over here. I've been to Morandava. I don't feel like it. I feel like it could be too far south. Maybe. I'll have to double check where I went to. One thing I did notice is that every single um, uh, thing that happened while I was um, just letting it run through, I was gaining the exact same amount of money or costing me the exact same amount of money. Uh, it was like 44,279, which obviously must be, there's a multiplier in there that's based on the amount of countries I have unlocked. Um, the... the amount that I have unlocked for, um, the amount that you, of money you're making per, like, sort of random thing for the week. All right, well, with these guys, I'd say we'll break that one out there. We'll go up. Well, those, there's like, that's shorter for this guy, so we'll get rid of that. Let him go that way. We'll come down for that one. so we can feel more justified in naming this Saudi Arabia. Let's learn about Saudi Arabia. I did meet a guy who worked in Saudi Arabia, an Englishman on one of my trips. He, uh, he worked in a dairy farm in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. It sounded like it was... Uh, the, the more years that you were there, the more um, money you made almost annually. Um, significantly or something like uh, retention mustn't have been one of the strong suits of it the kingdom of saudi arabia uh what have we got uh it is fifth largest country in asia second largest country in the arab world largest in western asia bordered by the red sea jordan iraq kuwait in the north persian gulf qatar the United Arab Emirates. Usually I don't describe what it's surrounded by because you're normally staring at it, but it's not the case in this one. Um, give us a population. 
34 million population. All right, let's um let's clear out these two guys. them in place we can now sort of see that we've gotten Africa down to about here let's just double check these guys that are red to make sure that that's because uh, it's probably need a reload for, for them to sort of kick in you can see we have grabbed a fair few um, Saudi Arabian cities here which makes me think that we are um, it is going a little bit quicker than um, because we don't have because of Sort of backlogged a little bit. Um, I think. I don't know. Or maybe I, I go for more than one city normally, so it's unusual the amount of space. But I do also feel like in this area we can grab. I can just grab countries pretty quick. Like Qatar, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, I and Kuwait. I would imagine that we're going to be single. Israel might get two cities in there. Um, I'd say that we've got a fair few little ones that we can sort of just work around. Um, let's drag a few more of those little guys in while we uh, finish up here. So let's go. Brown. And you can see that these are going to be very, um, very expensive purchases too. Yeah. Um, start to move deeper into the game. I think we're in I think we're about 66%. So we're about two thirds of the way through unlocking countries now. Alright, Israel, officially the state of Israel. Um Tel Aviv is the economic and technological center of the city, while its seat of government is in its proclaimed capital of Jerusalem, although Israel's sovereignty over East Jerusalem is unrecognized internationally. It's Jerusalem sort of sits right in that little dip there. Population of Israel. About 10 million as of 2022. Um, got its independence in 1919. It's a very reasonably young country on a world scale. If you're curious how that happened, during the 19th century, the Zionist movement began promoting the creation of a Jewish homeland uh, in Ottoman Syria. Following World War One, Britain was granted control of the region by the League of Nations mandate in what became known as Mandatory Palestine after World War II, the newly formed United Nations adopted the Partition Plan for Palestine in 1947, recommending the creation of an independent Arab and Jewish states and internationalized Jerusalem. So, can we again blame Britain for everything? Probably again. <laughs> Palestine! Officially the state of Palestine. Uh, claims the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. However, its claimed territory has been occupied by Israel since the Six-Day War of 1967. The West Bank is currently split into 165 Palestinian enclaves under partial Palestinian National Authority civil rule and the 230 Israeli settlements in which the Israeli law is pipelined. Well, Gaza is ruled by Hamas under a long-term blockade by Egypt and Israel since 2007. Uh, population, 5 million as of 2020. 
my, uh, what was the... Seven broken cameras? Is that the amount of broken cameras? The... Watching that on, uh, Palestine a long while ago, when I used to watch all the documentary nominee nominees for the Academy Awards. Why did I do it? I don't know. So we don't need to bring anyone else in. That's probably a nice hearty three. When we get to, um... Next one, we might bring an Iraq. Oh, probably even Jordan's big enough. Um, that we'll get Jordan and then Saudi Arabia will just go back to getting more cities while we continue to, to collect all of these. Um, like I said, I don't think that that's stopping. I mean, you can see I've spent about $2 million on this, but a lot of that was how much it costs to buy a country. Like you can see at the moment, it's. 200,000 to do that. So if I've picked up three of those, it's 600,000 of that. Um, but I will I will continue to sort of like do sections where I leave let it run for a while to allow more money and more cities to come up. Um, but I think that it is worth doing that sectionally. So say if I collect um, all of the, the countries on the, this peninsula up to about Iraq, Iran and Turkey maybe, and then uh, I'm not sure if I go for Iran. We won't get Iran yet. We bounce this way through Turkey up and around. But definitely on things like where I pick up China or Russia, I might let them run for hours to uh, to see how many cities we end up with to, to connect. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're going to leave off on this one. Saudi Arabia, Israel, and Palestine. With a whole lot of countries, a whole lot of cities rather, to, uh, to still add whole lot but at least we've gotten rid of the uh a lot of the stuff that's out in the middle of nowhere anyway questions or comments feel free to chuck them below until next time catch you later there <laughs>